Hello everyone, welcome to JS Core. We'll be discussing about current affairs through MCQs. And the topic of discussion is science and technology. And under science and technology, we will be discussing about questions related to health and diseases. Let us start with the questions. First question is, which of the following factors can lead to emergence of zoonotic diseases right so first of all what are zoonotic diseases zoonotic diseases are the diseases that are passed to human beings from animal sources right so from animals these diseases are passed on to human beings fine and uh, often there will be an intermediate species uh, for the passage of zoonotic diseases, right? So, the question is asking us, which factor lead to emergence of zoonotic diseases? So, all those factors where there is increased contact between human beings and animals, those activities, those factors which lead to increase in the contact between animals and human beings lead to the spread of or lead to emergence of zoonotic diseases, right? So, first is intensive farming. Yes, it increases the contact between animals and human beings. Second, travel and transportation. Yes, it has also increased the contact of human beings with different animals across the world, right? Third is unsustainable utilization of natural resources. So, we are clearing forest and we are reaching close to uh, the wildlife so that is also one of the reasons and fourth is increased demand for animal protein so this is also a reason for for the emergence and spread of zoonotic diseases fine so all these factors lead to emergence of zoonotic diseases and that's why answer is d one two three and four right so answer of this question is d next question with reference to Japanese encephalitis, consider the following statements. First, it is a viral disease which belongs to same genus as West Nile virus. Right? So, this statement is a correct statement because JE, Japanese encephalitis virus, belongs to a family called as Flavi viridae. It belongs to Flavi viridae and this family is also a family of viruses that lead to diseases like dengue, yellow fever and, and West Nile virus. West Nile virus also belongs to this Flavi viridae family and that's why first statement is a correct statement. Second statement now. JE, that means Japanese encephalitis, JE primarily affects children and it does not affect adults as they develop natural immunity from childhood, childhood infection. So, this statement is an incorrect statement. Uh, though, though JE primarily affects, uh, affects children, but that does not mean the, uh, the people of other ages are immune to this, this disease. Right? So, individuals of any age can be affected by Japanese encephalitis. So, second statement is an incorrect statement. Third, the transmission of JE virus intensifies during the rainy season in tropics and subtropics. Right? So, this statement is a correct statement because it is saying that intensification happens during rainy and uh, and uh, rainy season in tropics and subtropics. So, this statement is also a correct statement. Fine. So, answer of this question is 1 and 3 mentioned in option B. So, answer is uh, 1 and 3. So, Japanese encephalitis is a, uh, is a viral disease that leads to brain infection. JE is a, uh, it is a viral brain infection. viral brain infection and JE or Japanese encephalitis, it spreads through 
mosquito bite so mosquito bite is the uh, is the vector or mosquitoes are the vectors but the virus is there in pigs and birds virus japanese encephalitis virus is there in pigs and birds and mosquitoes pass uh, this virus from these animals to human beings fine so answer of this question is b 1 and 3 only next question now consider the following statements with respect to tomato flu first it is a contactless flu which spreads through the air right so uh, this statement is an incorrect statement it is not a contactless flu it is uh, it spreads through tomato flu also spreads through the contact of infected person right so this is incorrect it spreads through contact of an infected person it spreads through the contact of an infected person and that's why first statement is an incorrect statement second statement now it is caused by intestinal viruses and is rare among adults due to their strong immunity fine so this statement is a correct statement because uh, tomato flu is the result of viruses that are uh, intestinal viruses and hence the people who have developed immunity against it uh, that means adults primarily they are not affected by uh, tomato flu fine so answer of this question is is b2 only answer of this question is b fine next now now the next question is next question is with reference to monkey pox with reference to monkey pox uh, which among the following statements is correct right so the question is about monkey pox let us consider the statements first statement uh, monkey pox or monkeys are the natural reservoirs of this virus so this is incorrect statement though name is monkey pox the natural reservoirs are rodents not monkeys fine and that's why first statement is incorrect second monkeypox virus belongs to a genus of viruses that includes uh, variola virus which causes smallpox vaccinia virus which was used uh, in the smallpox vaccine so this statement is a correct statement for monkeypox virus it belongs to the genus of virus that leads to that leads to smallpox fine so b is correct answer c statement will consider only wild animals rodents and primates have have been found to carry the monkeypox virus and infection among domesticated animals such as dogs and cats had not been reported till now this is incorrect because the infection has been reported from dogs fine next d is d statement the central african clad has historically caused more severe disease and is more uh, transmissible transmissible than the Congo Basin clad. So, this statement is an incorrect statement because both uh, Central African clad and Congo uh, Basin clad, clad are one and, one and same, right. So, there is no difference between the Central African clad and Congo Basin clad. The other clad that is there is West African clad, fine. So, uh, the Central African clad or Congo Basin clad is more severe and transmissible than the west african clad that should be the uh, that is the correct statement fine so answer of this question is b next question now next question is consider the following statements regarding west nile virus wnv first statement it is related to zika dengue and yellow fever virus so uh, we have discussed that west nile virus is related to dengue yellow fever uh, and even to zika so first statement is correct statement second mosquitoes of the genus culex are the natural host of west nile uh, virus so this statement is an incorrect statement it is the birds which are the natural reservoirs of of 
वेस्ट नाइल वायरस राइट मॉस्किटोज आर द वेक्टर्स नॉट द होस्ट ऑफ इट थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इट इज हाईली ट्रांसमिसेबल एज इट कैन स्प्रेड फ्रॉम वन फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन थ्रू कैजुअल कॉन्टैक्ट सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज एन इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट स्प्रेड थ्रू मॉस्किटो बाइट इट स्प्रेड थ्रू मॉस्किटो बाइट एंड नॉट फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन कैजुअल कॉन्टैक्ट राइट सो एंसर इज ए वन ओनली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिगार्डिंग पब्लिक हेल्थ इमरजेंसी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल कंसर्न फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट एज पर द इंटरनेशनल हेल्थ रेगुलेशन ओनली एपिडेमिक प्रोन डिसीजेस दैट एक्चुअली स्प्रेड इंटरनेशनली कैन बी डिक्लेयर्ड ए पब्लिक हेल्थ इमरजेंसी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल कंसर्न सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज एन इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट बिकॉज अलॉन्ग विथ the epidemic prone diseases uh, the the uh, the uh, the reasons like or the causes which are which are biological chemical and nuclear uh, hazards the causes which have biological chemical and nuclear hazards they can also be declared as public health emergency of international concern and that's why first statement is uh, is an incorrect statement second statement now determining the existence of a phec is a prerogative of the director general of who so this statement is a correct statement third phec is the highest alert level of the who constitution uh, who constitution will be legally binding on all countries right so this statement is an incorrect statement right because uh, the uh, the legally binding it is not legally binding it is not legally binding though it is highest alert it is not legally binding on all parties so answer is b two only next question now next question is in parkinson's disease patients can suffer uh, suffer from right so first of all what is a parkinson's disease uh, parkinson's disease is a progressive nervous system disorder it is a progressive nervous system disorder fine right? and uh, in parkinson's disease primarily there is a uh, loss of specific brain cells which affects the uh, which affects the movement fine right? so let us consider the the options or the statements first neuro disorders right so patients suffer from neuro disorders yes uh, it leads to damage of brain cells yes skin diseases and eye infection is not related to the parkinson's disease and that's why answer is a 1 and 2 only fine next question now next question is with reference to monkeypox virus consider the following statements right so the question is related to monkey pox again first monkey pox virus is an enveloped double stranded dna virus that is less prone to rapid mutations right so this statement is a correct statement because uh, monkey pox virus yes it is a virus which is double stranded dna virus fine so first statement is correct second smallpox vaccine can be used for the treatment of monkey pox as well because they belong to smallpox uh, uh, the vaccine developed uh, for smallpox and the monkey pox virus uh, the they belong to same family and that's why it can be used for the treatment of monkey pox as well third statement vaccines contribute to passive immunity by improve, uh, by providing us with controlled way to create an immune response so this statement is an incorrect statement vaccines contribute to active immunity vaccines contribute to active immunity fine because in vaccines we also use pathogens though they are weakened or inactivated forms of pathogens but uh, that provides us 
uh, active immunity. When we use antibodies for the treatment, that is, uh, that provides us passive immunity. And so, first and second statements are correct. Hence, answer is B, 1 and 2 only. Next question now. Next question is, with reference to neglected tropical diseases, NTDs, consider the following statements. First, NTDs are diverse group of tropical infections which are common in low income populations uh, in developing regions of Africa, Asia and the Americas. So, this statement is a correct statement. NTDs are common to these regions or these continents, Africa, Asia and Americas and that too in low income population of these uh, region. Fine. So, first statement is correct. Second, they are caused by a variety of pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, protozoa and parasitic worms. Right. So, this statement is also a correct statement because NTDs are caused by uh, caused by different different pathogens they are they are not restricted to only viruses but even bacteria protozoa can also lead to various kinds of ntds next third statement malaria is an example of ntd that is neglected tropical disease so this statement is an incorrect statement because ntds they include various diseases like dengue dengue is there then rabies is there then uh, leprosy is there, fine. Then yaws is there. So, such kind of diseases are NTDs, but not malaria. Malaria is not a neglected tropical disease, and that's why only uh, one and two are the correct statements, and hence answer is A, one and two only. Next question now. Consider the following statements. First, India is a potential hotspot for zoonotic diseases as per the standards of uh, as per the state of world's forest report 2022. So, as per the state of world's forest report 2022, India is a hotspot for zoonotic diseases. First statement is a correct statement. So, that is the observation of state of forest state of, state of world's forest report 2022. Second, zoonotic diseases spread through animals to uh, humans, right? So, we have already discussed that zoonotic diseases spread from animals to humans and there is uh, one intermediary species that leads to this spread. Third, rabies is a zoonotic disease and is incurable in nature. So, this is also a correct statement. Rabies is zoonotic disease and it is incurable in nature. So, answer is 1, 2 and 3 mentioned in option C. Fine. So, that is about this test, if you want to attempt this test, you can scan this QR code or you can visit the uh, link given in the description box. So, thank you for mine. See you in the next class. Thank you.